So to those of you out there who are still working against equal rights, we have a message for you. You think we're sinful? You fight against our rights. You say we all lead lives you can't respect. But you're just frightened. You think that we'll corrupt your kids if our agenda goes unchecked. Funny, just this once, you're correct. We'll convert your children. Happens bit by bit, quietly and subtly, and you will barely notice it. You can keep them from disco, warn about San Francisco, make him wear pleated pants, we don't care. We'll convert your children, we'll make them tolerant and fair. At first I didn't get why you'd be... Yo, what up, this is Gary Lamb, and uh... The reason why I'm not showing the rest of the song is because I don't want to I don't want to watch that video again. If you want to go and watch it, I'll put a link in the description for your convenience, but I personally don't want to watch that again. And uh I don't want to muddy my channel up with that filth. So take your time, watch it if you want and come back to this video at this point. Uh without further ado, let me continue with what I have to say about it. Let me say this about the LGBTQ community. In no way do I charge you with this video. I, I don't charge this to you because I kind of understand that every group have some bad apples. Every group. And if we went by the group that says the most ridiculous stuff, then we'll be at war. So I know these people do not speak for you, but you need to go get your boys. Because they messing up something good that we got going. Many of you are just as appalled as we are. But what you've had to try to get through in life, and this, this dude, these, these people just come out and say some stuff like this. Yo, I get it. You're appalled. Like, damn, we, we work so damn hard to get where we are. I can't these knuckleheads saying some dumb stuff set us back 20 years. This was a violation. This was a violation to all parents. Okay? This was a violation. And if any parent feels like I do, They'll be so angry and scared that they'll be running to their children's tablets, computers, laptops, you name it, and putting guards on everything. Because that's a shocking thing to hear. As a parent, it doesn't matter if you're liberal, conservative, blue, red, black, white, female, male, as a parent, we all know that fear. We all know that fear. And you had the nerve to make a song about it? How dare you? You don't know who you, you don't know who you messing with, bruh. You don't have the heart of a parent. You can't have the heart of a parent because even homosexuals know you don't cross the line at the children. Leave them out of this. There are homosexuals that do question their homosexuality because they was touched when they were younger. 
and they question it because of that instance. And it's a constant reminder that they were violated because every single time that argument comes out of a straight man's mouth, it brings them back to that. That's why you have those who have not been touched by children countering that argument. They're countering that argument because they never been touched and they knew from jump they was, um, they was homosexual. They had good fathers, they had good mothers, but they were homosexual and that's what it was. That's what they wanted, that's what they did. There are people who have been born like that in their brain. And I know as the Christian heads out there, we running around saying, no, no, no. I get that, I get that. But who are you to judge? You're not God. Jesus said, what? He said, do unto others as you will like them to do unto you. If you want people to mind their business, you need to mind yours. Just keep your noses out of their business. This is one of the reasons why they took prayer out of schools. I don't agree with it. But we're not the only ones that go to these schools, right? So the treaty was, let's just keep the kids out of it. You teach what you want to teach to your children while they're home. That was the treaty that supported everybody. Gays, Jews, uh, atheists, everybody was supported by that. So they took prayer out of the schools. Again, not agreeing with it, but that's my team. My team don't agree with it. They, we think that's the reason why our kids are running amok. But who's to say we're right? We don't know. I believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. Yes. So what? And that's my opinion. I don't know if I'm right. I trust that I'm right. That's what faith is. And we have faith in y'all that y'all will follow the rules. And this song is telling us that you're violating the treaty. It's telling us you're violating the treaty and we don't like it. We don't like it. None of this was funny, by the way. You're bypassing the age of consent laws. You're bypassing them by going to the school system. And that ain't right. There's a reason why we have that law in the books to keep perverts away from our kids. That's why we have that on the books. Cause we know how impressionable our little boys and little girls are. We were once them and we see them growing up. That's the heart of a parent, something you lack. So leave our children out of this. My girl, if she heard this shit, she's a butch lesbian, by the way. And I say butch because she, prefers it. So I'm gonna say butch. Um, I know stud and whatever, what have you, but she prefers butch. Um, she absolutely adore kids. The woman then freaking, I remember having a conversation with her <laughs> and we would talk about, um, you know, her family members and I'm not going to get, uh, too personal cause that's her business, but we'll talk about her family members and we'll get to the topic where she's getting sick and tired of, you know, hearing the kids yell. And I'd be like, uh, I'm called the Dorothy because I don't know if she want to be clapped. Dorothy, look, look, look. <laughs> you love kids. And she just like quiet. I'm like, I don't know why you complain. Like you love kids. Met her. She was in the healthcare field. Okay. I was in the healthcare field as well. And ever since we've been hanging and banging, this girl was always in care of somebody. 
whether it was the mentally, physically disabled or a little baby, she was always in care of someone. And I used to talk to her on the phone and she'd hear the kids in the background. She'd be like, yo, these kids are turning, they're making me crazy, blah, blah, blah. blah. And, and one day she just kept talking to me about taking on yet another kid. And I'm like, Dorothy, you love taking care of people. Why are you complaining? And she was like, well, I don't really like, love it. I was like, look at your field. You're in care of people. You love the clients. You chill with the clients. You know what I'm saying? You straight with the clients. They love you back. The only people you get, you get into tussles with are the freaking staff because they off they rocker. But you love taking care of people. You're not complaining about the kids. You're complaining about the mothers that's not taking care of the kids. And once I hit her with that, she was like, Gary, you right. I love taking care of people. And right there, all that noise stopped. She happy than a pig and shit. And let me tell you something, if she heard this song, she would be like, yo, those need to get taken out. There ain't no reason for people to be, I can, I can tell you like I know my first name. That's how that woman would respond. She would be very pissed. She would be insulted. My boy, Doug, I'm gonna call him Doug because you know, don't want his stuff out there. He will apologize for this. He will say, Gary, I just want to say, I'm so sorry you had to see that. Because I know what runs through your head and I know what you've been through and I know how that made you feel. To see that song, to listen to those words, make them tolerant and fair. You mean make as in production, producing, indoctrinating? You know what they used to call that back in the day? Witchcraft. Just because you change the word doesn't change what it does. You'll forget? No, we're, we're, we, we, we don't forget this kind of stuff. We'll, we'll forget you filling us up. You know what I'm saying? We'll forget that because we, we do realize as a group, because this is some of the things we can't talk about, you know, because you shouldn't talk about this kind of stuff. But since you want to bring my kids in it, the gloves come off. Yeah, we're talking about those instances where you walk up to a boy, a man in a club and you hoping to God that he ain't he, he, he that straight man is actually a little gay. So you walk up, you approach him, and you look him in the eyes, and you touch on him and see if he likes it, is he interested? If you write, you score. If you're wrong, oh well. Because to that straight man, that was a violation. You see, he's not gay, so that approach, that prance that gay men do, that type of stuff, yeah, that, that stuff is not appropriate. We don't like that. As straight men, that is disgusting, but we tolerate it because there's an unspoken agreement. So we will tolerate that because we understand, okay, if I really did do something, what would happen? We see, we, we men, we have that foresight thing going on. It's pretty cool. We, we, we will foresee in the future what will happen if we did something as, I don't know, defend ourselves like a man would. We look at that and we say, okay, cool. If I defended myself, the way he can spin this is saying that, yo, uh, this is a hate crime and it's just because he knew that I was gay and he doesn't like gays. 
Well, that's a problem because I don't want to go down like I hate gays. I don't have a problem with gays. I'm just not gay. Because let's face it, y'all. Y'all do that. You gay men do this all the time. Y'all open up the line of communication with, have you tried it? Have you ever gave it a chance? Because that's your, that's your way of touching and feeling and seeing if the person is gay or by curious at least. That's how y'all put y'all fillers out. Okay, we accept that. We accept that. Most of us hate it, but you're putting your fillers out. So if you touch me and you grope me, we understand that's just how y'all do. But there's those out there that take that to the next level. You see, they know we can't do anything. And they play on that. They know we can't do anything. Sure, we can defend ourselves physically, you know, I mean, 225, 160, yeah, we already know how that's gonna go. But because we already know how that's gonna go, who's to say that I didn't beat him up because he's gay? Yo, Gary, we would not pull that kind of stuff. I understand what you're saying, but listen, this we're not like that, blah, blah, blah. Yes, but there are some that are. They will touch you knowing you can't do anything, and then they'll go past your no and touch you again. No me, no. That's what it means to me, no. I said no for a reason. Don't force me to put bass in my voice right now. because there are limits. And then there's the extremist of you who bypass us and go directly to our innocent kids. You see, you earn our respect, you earn our appreciation and you come in and then you seek out our children. Those extremists are a no-go. The moment I saw his face, he reminded me of how I was violated through trust. Yeah, you, you crossed the line with that song. And I'm not the only man, straight man, that feels like this, man. You do realize there's people out there that will come out of retirement just to do you. Don't think for one second we're asleep. Nah, we, we, we don't fall asleep on stuff like this, Mike. Come on, man. We don't fall asleep on stuff like this. This is concerning our kids, man. We don't, we don't fall asleep on that. We build treaties because of that. You understand me? We will build alliances just for that cause. There are other people that will take it to another level. That's what you don't want. And that's what I don't want to see. So as a Christian, I'm going to do something that Christ would do. And I'm going to let that go. I'm going to let that go. I'm not, and I'm going to go along with my life 
living like I've already done, speaking to my friends, making new acquaintances, enjoying life. I'm going to continue doing that. And I'm going to treat everybody just like I would ever treat them. I'm not going to treat anybody different. But what I am going to say is this. I will never forget this song. That look on your face has been burnt into my retinas. This is difficult because the dad in me wanted, bruh, that dude, bruh, with the, the dreads, man, the locks, whatever the hell. Yo, you my, yo, I know it's like you from the streets, bruh. I, I don't, don't, bruh, seriously, we can get that on. Boy, you, 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 boy, you, you, you knew what you was doing. You got me. You know what I'm saying? I also believe there's a spiritual realm as well. And I believe that's a demon somehow. I don't know how, but I believe that's a demon because that mother knew how to get me. You see, you're all dead. Y'all all got us in your own way. By showing a, 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 a bald man with a white beard looking sage-like, also a part of it. That's right. That's right. I, I saw that thing, too. I know what you meant by that video. It worked. Oh, it worked. You definitely got our undivided attention on that one. You got mine. You got mine. And I'm sure you got many others. Many others. So I'm gonna let you do what you do. But word of advice, don't do that shit again. Leave our kids out of your mouths. Out. <laughs>